Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and this is Detroit Become Human. I'm pretty excited. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to forget some of the big twists and turns from Quantic Dreams or David Cage's previous games like Heavy Rain and uh, Beyond Two Souls. Some of the stuff that happened there was so surprising, really, really cool storytelling. And uh, I'm excited for a new story experience of that magnitude. So we're not going to dilly dally, we're going to get right in here. I'm just going to make one recommendation, and that is to set the vibe. If you don't know what that means, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up, and just let yourself get into it. Experience this story with me. I'm the type of player, in case you're new here, that really likes to just back the choice that I decide. This is a game that's heavy in, uh, in options. We're going to have to make choices that are going to be time sensitive, and... We're just going to go with whatever feels right at the time, and Are hopefully it works out. Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? Yes, I am. Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Oh, I like that. Like in Detroit. I like that. She's cool. It kind of freaks me out a little bit, but she seems nice. She seems great. All right, guys. Are you ready? I've managed to avoid pretty much all... Any, like, trailers. Like, I've stayed away from almost anything except for the really early Detroit stuff. So, we're going to get uh, right into it. Wish me luck, guys. We're playing on uh, experienced difficulty. There's a casual and there's an experienced. So if you're curious about that, that's the option we're going with. Here we go. August 15th, 2038. We're an RK800 Android. Heading up to some... Penthouse? <laughs> Oh, really? Top floor. 94! So that's like... We're 2038. That's... Way back. On site. On site. Okay, so top floor of the building. We're Negotiator Android. My understanding is that we're gonna follow, like, three different androids. I tend to, if you're new here to the channel, I tend to get, like, really into the characters. <laughs> um... Hopefully... You're okay with that. Let's get going. Okay. We've got damage. Is this like a... Oh, this is a broken aquarium? Water all over the floor? Interact using the right stick. What do we have here? So this is the Phillips family. John, Carolyn, and Emma. Emma's... 2028, so this is, uh, she's like 10 years old. Okay. This is still, oh, we can actually, oh, cool. A dwarf Gorami. So as an android, we can just, like, analyze anything that we see. Leave it or save it. I mean, let's just save it, I guess. Software instability. L1 draws our attention to something, and then we can look around. Like one of those big, like, beta fish, the Siamese fighting fish. Bullet holes as well. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Just Wait. emotionless. <laughs> Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You oh, can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Oh, man. Don't let that thing near her. Do we have, like, any emotional responses? Find Captain Allen. Hold R2 to consult your objectives. Oh, cool. It, like, leads us right to him. Look at them all. So he's outside there then? Look at this place! Whoa. This is our guy here. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Cyberlife, okay. It's firing at everything. Just ignores us. Two of my men. 
We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Okay. Um... Deviant's behavior. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Um... Deactivation code, emotional shock. Do we have emotions? Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now. Okay. Or I'll take care of it. All right, I'm on it. 48% chance. Every second counts. Uh oh. Understand what happened. Save the hostage at all costs. Oh, here we go. A gun case. Use the right stick to move the cursor. Uh, two clues to analyze. This was uh, an MS-853 Blackhawk. What was in that other section? Bullets maybe here? Yep, bullets. 355 ammo. Reconstruct. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. All right. Use L2 or R2 to review the reconstruction. Oh, and then you, like, analyze within. It's interesting when, when you play it in reverse and, like, that appears to be the correct order. Like, the way that it unfolded. Interesting. Deviant took the father's gun. Okay. So this, this is premeditated. Understand what happened, save hostage at all costs. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff going on here. Locate the hostage. Seems to be outside. Let's see if we can find info because... Ah, here we go. Search the hostage's room. Maybe help us... Later? I'm worried about the every second counts thing. I'm already feeling pressure. Swipe the touchpad to interact. iPads have come a long way. Oh, man. You're my bestie. We'll always be together. What happened? You've unlocked a dialogue or action, often beneficial. And our chance of success went up. Okay, so it's good that we're checking things out then. Child didn't hear gunshots. Alright. 60% chance. Alright. What else do we have going on here? Search hostage room. Locate the hostage. What do we got in this side? Bathroom? Bathroom. Got something on the ground over there. Whoa. Whoa. Examine the victims. What do you got going on here? I see bullet holes. Upper lung hemorrhage. Left kidney perforated. Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. What else you got? Deceased, the dad, John. Estimated time of death, 7.30? So we're here like an hour later. Oh, and we can reconstruct now. Okay. So what's he doing? He's sitting on the couch. He turns around. Something startles him. He's holding something. What is he holding? Rewind to search for a new clue. Father was holding something. It goes flying. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. He launches it over there. What is it? Another tablet. So he's sitting here. Oh, this is wild. He's sitting here. 
Oh, you can actually see the the thing in the background. He turns around, he's startled, points at him, shoots him. Three times in the chest. Drops the iPad. Or tablet, let's say. 62% probability of success. Let's go. $9,000? That's it? So, okay, so this guy was getting replaced and that's what caused him to freak out. You've unlocked a, another dialogue. Whoa! Okay, so this thing's not holding back at all. Look at all the bullet holes. Is this guy just straight gone? The blood. Do we get any information from him? Non-lethal wound. Okay, but there's no way to, like, talk to him. What else do we have here? Understand what happened, locate the hostage. There's more stuff. Okay, so this is also someone down. Police officer. DPD officer was the first responder. Bullet hole. Right heart ventricle perforated and turtle bleeding. Anthony Deckert. Gunshot residue, I'm guessing? Gunshot residue. <laughs> Lead stiffen it. Antimony sulfide. Only one shot. So let's see what happened here. Okay, so he's coming in. He sees him. When he shoots on sight. Cop shot the deviant. I guess if it's an android, they just don't hold back. What do we got over here? Oh, he was holding... Okay. Holding the hostage. He goes down. Weapon located. Okay, interesting. Seventy percent. So now, yeah, there's like a whole bunch of stuff happening here, though. American Androids Act 2029. Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Uh... Oh my god. Okay, what about us as a negotiator? I guess same thing. Let's put this back. We don't want the cops, like, reacting on us too and being like... That guy already seemed like he doesn't really trust us. What's this? Fresh blue blood. Okay, this- okay, androids bleed blue. PL-600. Alright. Child size shoe. Colorful model. Hostage could be wounded. Okay, great. By great, I mean this is bad. Anything else in here? Oh my god. He is losing it. Hostage is located. More androids, less work. Yeah, so people are- this is obviously gonna freak people out that these guys could do anything better than them, right? Oh my god. If confirmed, this would be the first case of an android deliberately taking human lives. By all 
This has never happened? I mean, this seems extreme, but... Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to him. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm going out there. Thanks. Got no option. I gotta go. Jeez. Stay back! Trigger finger on this guy. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Is she hurt? Everyone needs to calm down right now. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Whoa, whoa. Everybody, chill out. Deviant destabilizing. Gain the, ch gain the Deviant's trust and approach slowly. Okay. Uh, just be calm. I know you're angry, Daniel. You need to trust me, and let me help I don't want your help! Nobody can help me! All I want is for all this to stop! I just want all this to stop! What to stop, exactly? Possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. Officer needs help. But I was just there, tool. Please, something to throw away when you're done. Please help me. Well, and we saw that she uh, was even saying that he's the best android ever. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. Now, what happens here? So this actually shows us all of the different things that we can possibly interact with. I don't know if they're maybe not all helpful, but. I thought she loved me. Let's see if we can help this guy. Just be cool. I'm just gonna help this guy. All the other humans. Be cool. Um, I'm gonna be sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? So he does but feel emotion? To Just a slave to be ordered around. Okay. Calm down. Killing her is not gonna solve your problem. Let me help this guy. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. If he doesn't have what to die like this. If this one dies now. I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Okay. Touch him and I kill you. Uh No, I'm I'm helping him. I'm helping the guy. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. <laughs> Did he not notice when he shot us and we had the blue blood? 83%. This is good. Be cool, buddy. Be cool. I can't stand that noise anymore. What was that thing Tell that said that public opinion? To get out of here. Yeah, actually, do uh, get out of here. Get out of here. We don't. Get, just everyone needs to calm down. Everyone needs to chill. There, I did what you wanted. Ninety-three percent. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Whoa, we're at ninety-nine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. I don't know about that. How about we compromise here? That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Look at this. You don't want to die. You don't have to die. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will Whoa! happen to you. You have my word. We're doing it. Be cool, buddy. Okay. I trust you. Whoa! Whoa! Run inside. Run inside now. No frickin' way. What are you guys doing?
You still got a gun. This is bad. This is bad. You lied to me, Connor. Oh, this is bad. You lied to me. Is he... Oh, this is what this is outstanding. I love this. This is outstanding. That is so cool. This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Whoa, so there's like... Are, are you telling me there's like six different... Show legend here. Lock paths, action, dialogue, success, death, not required for completion. There's like six different ways that could have ended. Look at this. This is really cool that they show us this, actually. So he's talked to the captain. Save the fish. <laughs> okay, so that means like... Interesting. Locked path. Huh. Uh, investigated all the stuff in the search for clues. There's something here. Learn the deviant's name. We could go outside. SWAT was injured. I don't know what that is, maybe? We left the cop's gun. Oh, maybe... If we took the gun, this would open up another thing. So we go outside, and then friendly approach, save the cop, uh, dismiss the helicopter, cross chapter impact. Oh, look at that. That's a little spoilery, maybe, but really cool. Um, lie to the deviant, <laughs> build trust, lie to the deviant, and the sniper shot him. <sighs> That's so cool. And then we have, like, stats for how this goes. 30%. Oh, we're not very popular there. But I guess with six options, that's cool. And you can see friend stats. 66 got that. That's really neat. That is really, really cool. We're going to review this every time we can. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. November 5th, 2038. Cyberlife. Model AX400. Loading OS. Initializing biosensors, AI engine, memory status. Cool. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Oh, this is so. We're. Wait. We're, we're on display right now. <laughs> this is so weird. At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at seven thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Look, pre-owned models. Forty-eight months interest-free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. Heating, <sighs> plumbing, gardening, repairs. At night, it switches. Look, they even have like Contact replacement parts and stuff. Legs and. Smoke. Excuse me. How much is that one over there? The NPA is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I wonder just like how many like they've strict usage rules on these things or it's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Well I'm a repair maybe. Really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? The car hit it. Stupid accident. He's lying, don't like this. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. Oh, God. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Kara. Okay, so... We've gone from Connor to Kara. And I'm... I'm part of what seems like a great family. He seems trustworthy. This is really, uh, I'm into it. This is cool. It's gonna be such a neat experience, guys. Oh, I'm like thrilled. I'm thrilled. I wanna know, I hope we get information about, like, how this came to be and what some of, like, what some of the first androids were like, some of the public reaction, maybe. You can, 
already tell that there's um, some tension, like with the mother uh, from the first one, but she believes in it enough to have the android, but she still doesn't trust the android negotiator, right? And so it's one of those things where it's like, you know, household work and that kind of stuff, probably great. Negotiation to save my daughter's life, probably not so trusting. However, we did pull it off, so, you know, maybe that'll change her opinion. And I, I really like how, like, the scenes were laid out. I imagine we're not always going to be, do, like, investigating stuff, so... What else will we be doing? I have no idea, but... Oh, man, I'm pumped. Lost my job because of androids. And, like, do we f feel... Are we... There's obvious, like, the... The android Daniel that we that end up getting shot by the snipers, um, it's quite obvious that he was under like some emotional duress, but like we referred to that as like a glitch in his programming or something. Okay, and who's this now? Like the equivalent of like a nanny or babysitter. Go to Bellini Paint Shop. Okay, retrieve an order. What did that say? Retrieve order 847 at Bellini's Paint Shop. But there's things we can do here like... Tech Addict. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. Uh, yes. Oh, this, like, changes the entire magazine? Climate change up? How the environment is changing America's society? Okay, let's go back. Let's see what these say. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of the design secrets in our recent interview. The first- this is like so bang on with what I was just asking. This is amazing. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. CyberLife worked on ways to humanize its machines so they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity down to details that androids simply don't need is the secret of CyberLife's design success. They just try to make them as, like, human as possible, I guess. Now, climate change, what's going on here? Miami to heighten seawall. Whoa. By further 10 meters? World temperature increased by 3 degrees since 2000? This is crazy because it's like... Real. Recent US Census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Waterside real estate and once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight with wealthy residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate climatic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight with all the services and amenities following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of coastal cities gets hollowed out. This census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Oh, so cool. Anything like this that we find, like, I'm gonna be all over it. Now, does this show us everything that we can interact with, or is it a matter of, like, experimenting on our own? 
I can't walk off the path, so... Okay. Bellini paints is not this way. Oh, so it even sets... So we're even restricted to our certain routines. That's cool. You have run 12 miles. Sport now, partner. Jeez. <laughs> Wait for green light. Oh, they've got this like... We're totally locked down as androids. That's cool. Like, it makes sense. Ban androids. Androids run our country. We want jobs. So this is like... This is the other people feeling... Like we've totally ripped them off, you know? And so they hate androids, but it's not the androids' fault. Because we're literally machines, you know? Press R2 to use GPS. Okay, it's so the same thing as, like, finding the objectives. That's fine. But in these more open areas, it gives us some direction of where to go. Whoa, you're just gonna throw that there? I guess they're like, the androids will get it. That's cool. Human music. Oh, one dollar to hear music with soul. That's so cool. All right. That right? You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Okay, it's been a pleasure. Poor sinners. It's been real. The end is nigh. I'm is just a trying to see what I can get away with and what I can't, you know? It looks like we need to be heading back there. Digi groceries. It's kind of interesting too, like Detroit being, you know, like manufacturing, like for vehicles in current day. And then they become like the Android manufacturer. That's fitting. Self order, Digi groceries. Just type in what you want. Boom. Groceries. I like that. Look at the movies. Anything we would recognize? Anna Maverick, 3021. Raken, invasion, target. After mankind. Oh, this is wild. It's like a fully realized world. Here's the paint. What's interesting is like, we're just dropped in here. We don't know why we're doing this. We don't know who we work for. That's even the right terminology. Is it serve or work for or what? If they if they just buy us. Connect. Identification verified. The other thing I'm wondering now is like. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Please confirm payment. <laughs> Okay, so he's an android, too. That was my question is... Is it super... Like, do we all... Is it so obvious when they're androids or not? Take bus home. Let me just look around here. Just so, like... 
clinical our interactions. Use R1 to switch camera angle. Oh, okay. So it should lock us out from going back here then? What? I like drones. Android temporary parking. <laughs> what? Max parking three hours, eight units max. So just like literally it's crammed right in there. I was going to say maybe it's like a charging station, but it doesn't seem like that's a thing. But I'll be interested to see how we maintain power. I'm just, I have so many questions. Okay, we're going this way now. Look at that. They just could park their Android and then like, take my bag. All right. It feels so awkward because we are so lifelike that it's like, it feels like more servanty than anything. What are you guys doing? Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah. We got families to feed, and these androids are taking our place. Yeah. I wonder, like, are we in danger? Like. Do we get attacked? Uh, I don't know. I just have questions. Wow. Oh, that's so bizarre. Like, I get it, but it's just, you know, it's weird. Uncomfortable almost. Boom. Okay. So, even. Okay, so this is cool because even within this, walking in the park, okay? Read the secrets, listen to the busker, visit the paint store. There's even things in here that, if we are thorough, we'll find other stuff. That is so cool. That is so cool. There's this other, there's this thing that comes up, public opinion. And we saw that earlier too. Um, we're indifferent here probably because we didn't do anything. But uh, this is really encouraging because that's telling me that we should be searching even more, even in these areas. Um, I don't know what we could have found there, but, um, you know, there are certain parts that were blocked off. And it looks like it's probably just similar stuff like this, like watch that preacher. Maybe that thing right at the end there where, where it was like the, the android thing. Maybe we could have had, like, an interaction or, or whatever, but, um, yeah, really cool. Really cool. Ended with Marcus taking the bus. It's great. All right. I think for the first episode, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to pump these episodes out because I'm just going to play it, like, nonstop. I, this, is, this is so cool. I'm really excited uh, to see where the story goes and, like, how things unfold. I have a lot of questions that I hope get answered because this is, like, a fascinating topic to me. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do. Because it's the first series of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind uh, giving me a thumbs up and liking the video, that would be a huge help for me. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. It's really interesting to me. And I'd be curious, like, what are your thoughts on the timeline? Um, and what I mean by that is not this display, but the fact that this is taking place in 2038. This is 20 years from now. That's scary close you know what i mean i don't know that's pretty wild but uh yeah i'm excited i'm gonna be i'm gonna be going through this pretty quickly um i'm just gonna spend a lot of time with it and i'll i'll try to be as thorough as i can i won't find everything likely but uh that's kind of just my approach is to see what we can find and now that i'm getting a, an idea of what's possible um, that'll kind of help set us up going forward so wish me luck guys i really appreciate it and uh we'll see you 
very soon in the next one. Take care.